If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in why is it people who listen in meetings are a risk to themselves, to their colleagues, and to their organization. And in fact, the more senior they are, the greater the risk. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of the scientifically proven smart wisdom, next generation and note-taking technique. I've been helping people to manage knowledge more effectively for the last 20 years. So I've made rather a bold statement there that people who sit and listen are a risk. And the reason for that, um, and I'll share from my own perspective on this, but not only are they a risk, but, and I, again, I'm gonna use myself. So not only am I a risk, but I've also got a disadvantage compared with people who are taking notes, whether on a, on a pen, with pen and paper or on a, on a laptop. So where I've come from is that sometimes I'd take notes, sometimes I wouldn't. Um, did I give it much thought? Probably not a lot. But what I realize now is that actually that act of taking notes or not taking notes is really important. Because if I substitute the word notes with knowledge, that changes everything. So am I gonna take knowledge down, manage knowledge, or am I not? So the reason it's such a risk is there are a couple. Um, one, it's about relationships. So if I walk into a really important meeting with you know, clients or colleagues that I value, and I don't have a pen and paper, or I don't have a laptop, straight away they know I haven't prepared for that meeting. And trying to do it in my head is, you know, is for a whole load of reasons, very ineffective. They also will, when I'm sitting there in the meeting real time and I'm not taking down inf any information, their brains are going to be thinking, you know, is Jonathan taking this seriously? You know, is he, you know, why isn't he writing anything down? Is he going to remember what we're saying? So there's a, there's a problem from a relationship point of view and there's also a big problem from a performance point of view because I know as an information athlete, if I sit and listen, I'm relying on the human brain and the human brain has two structural weaknesses in terms of managing knowledge. One is short-term memory. The human brain is only really good at remembering about seven plus or minus two chunks of information at any point in time. So think action points. You know, how many action points can you easily remember? And also something called cognitive load. So the amount, number of mental activities we can do in one point in time, or I can do, is structurally limited by my brain. So I'm only really good at doing one mental activity at a time. So for me, memory is a mental activity, listening is a mental activity. If I'm trying to remember a question, my listening's gonna drop. So the solution I came to was actually, once I realized that you know, the structural limits of the human brain exist. Um, they cause a, a huge restriction on my ability to manage knowledge. I realized the simplest solution is to either write it down, you know, or, or type it into a laptop. Take that knowledge externally, which then frees my brain to operate. Really simple. I then made another switch from like what I call uh, traditional note taking which is previous generation note-taking. We're all taught it at school. Um, it's record now, use later, whether on a pen and paper or on a laptop. I made a switch to next generation uh, note-taking and planning. And suddenly things became more exciting because part of next generation planning, there's a dynamic element to the way you structure information. And I'll show you what I mean. So now, rather than just walking into a meeting, without pen and paper, what I will do is I will, even if it's just the top three or four points, I'll commit them externally. And I prefer a pen and paper or a digital pen and digital pad because it's easier to manipulate um, and dynamically manage the knowledge. So I might be thinking here in my thought bubbles, need to talk about new software, improve performance, clear plan. Now, if I don't write anything down, as soon as I go into a meeting, somebody starts talking, 
I'm either going to have to listen to what they're talking or remember. Something's going to have to give. But writing it down, this is what I mean by that dynamically managed. If I think of new software, the first thing I do is I think, what's that all about? So I'm always looking for the bigger picture. And for me, that's about technology. That's about tech. I, I know as an information athlete, we put descriptive words before keywords, so I'm going to reverse that. And the second I do that, I'm, I'm thinking, well, what other tech issues are there? What other software issues? I'll do one more here. So improve performance. What's that all about? To me, it's about personnel. It's about people. In this instance, because we're talking about improving performance of people. Um, and then I would, again, I'd reverse it. Performance. Improve. So again, I'm thinking about the bigger picture, about people. So straight away, I'm thinking, what other tech issues are there? Um, what other people issues are there? What other software issues are there? What other performance issues are there? So not only it could be performance improved, performance monitoring. Now, if I hadn't written that down, there's no way that my thinking would have got to that point when I walked into the meeting. And in fact, I probably wouldn't have even remembered this once somebody starts talking. So what I found is next generation planning is really powerful for me as a listener because it, it frees me up. Now, the important thing for me is to remember there are two types of information. Um, when I'm listening, there's relationship information and there's work information. So when I'm listening to relationship information, when people are just talking generally, maybe about their families, about you know how their day's going, you know that might extend over a considerable period. And of course, I'm not going to either... Um, I'll have prepared for the meeting, but during the meeting, I'm not going to capture that knowledge. But certainly anything that's work related, I'm going to capture it. And again, I'll use a next generation uh, note taking technique, which looks slightly different to this, but it's similar principle of breaking up and managing the knowledge. So here's an example. Uh, this was a one hour meeting and this is my preparation for the meeting. Only took me about I think four or five minutes to do, it's really fast, but you can see there's a lot of information there I wanted to cover through. And again, I wasn't relying on my memory when I was in that uh, meeting, and here I am using next generation note taking to what I call harvest the knowledge. So by doing this, this immediately gives me a competitive advantage against other people who are listening, and also a competitive advantage of people who are taking traditional notes, whether pen and paper, or using a laptop because they're using that traditional note-taking technique they're all taught at school, which is record now, use later. So there's no, none of this dynamic management, which um, you know, as a professional we can do as soon as we know about it. How do I feel when I'm doing this? Just really professional, actually. And I know I'm performing at my optimum. If I sit and listen, it's like I've got one hand behind my back because I, I can compare the two. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you are a listener, then please feel free to you know, use this methodology and please take that knowledge externally because then that frees you and it frees me to operate at a much higher level and the risk, the knowledge risk and performance risk eliminated immediately. Um, if you've liked this video, please press like. Obviously, please uh, feel free to comment as always. and please feel free to share widely. And you can be a bit subtle, you know, people who you know just sit and listen in important meetings, particularly they're really senior and you're at a senior level um, and you're free to do that, share it subtly with them. And also, of course, please feel free to share with anyone who has a passion or interest in helping teams, whether they're sales teams or their top talent or anything else, and they want to get optimum performance. The key thing is to for people to understand that just listening, particularly to work knowledge, is a commercial risk. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. And of course, as always, up at the top, down at the bottom or on the sides, there is a link to some more free tips which are there for you to download. Thank you.